of the population. The Federal Reserve has deliberately driven tens of millions of people into poverty. The Federal Reserve is responsible for crimes against humanity. The Federal Reserve gave trillions of American taxpayer dollars in secrecy to the people who were most responsible for causing our economic crisis. Our tax dollars were handed out as all time record-breaking bonuses to top executives at the too big to fail global banks. The Federal Reserve gave American taxpayer dollars to foreign banks and corporations. The Federal Reserve directly subsidized tax evasion by funneling taxpayer dollars into the Cayman Islands. The Federal Reserve gave American tax dollars to their primary dealer banks, so the banks could then lend that same money back to the U.S. government at higher interest rates, leading to significant profits for the banks, at the further expense of the American public. Through bailout programs, the Federal Reserve socialized financial losses onto American taxpayers and privatized profits into the hands of global banks. The Federal Reserve aids and abets trillions of dollars in accounting fraud. The Federal Reserve routinely manipulates the stock market. The Federal Reserve deliberately caused inflation in the price of food, gas and basic necessities while devaluing the dollar. The Federal Reserve represents the central planning force behind a global banking cartel that has deliberately impoverished people throughout the world. U.S. politicians have now taken action to break up the Federal Reserve and the too big to fail banks. U.S. politicians have now taken action to prosecute the people who caused our economic crisis. U.S. politicians have now taken action to end the system of political bribery, the campaign finance and lobbying racket which allows global bankers to control our political process. Democrats have failed us. Republicans have failed us. No one is defending our interests. We cannot remain passive while our future is going up in flames. It is time for us to stand up for ourselves. It is time for you to stand up for yourself. We must restore the rule of law and fight back against the organized criminal class.